Hey guys, I'm back. I'm going to do Stop Loss with Spencer 2.0. We're going to pick it up. Obviously, I don't have a whiteboard anymore. I have a TV screen instead. And I'd like to draw your attention to the 2023 Annual Market Report. There's some really, really good items here, especially in the stop loss world. And I'll pick apart a few of them and bring those to your attention right now. By the way, if you guys want to read this full report, I'll make sure to put it in the comments. Highly, highly recommend if you have interest in doing so. All right, so the first thing that jumps out to me is the rise in million dollar claims. So not only the frequency, but the duration, as well as uh, the severity, so how big these claims are. You can see Tokyo Marine is tracking this from 2020, uh, 2014 to 2022. So not only do you have in the blue a rise in the frequency of those million dollar claims, but in the red, those are $2 million plus claims. So the blue, the $1 million claims went up about 340% during that time. The red has gone up over a thousand percent. So these are lasting longer, they're getting bigger and they're happening more often. Definitely something you should pay attention to. So this is one I think is really important. I've talked about this before. It's something uh, to, that you need to do to counteract leverage trend. So what Tokyo Marine did here is track their clients over a five-year period and look at what percentage of those clients actually raised their deductible during that period of time. So if you see a majority, over 50%, never actually raised their deductible once in a five-year period, and another 30 plus percent only raised it one time during five years. The issue with this is you're probably overpaying in premium pretty significantly if you never touch your spec deductible over that course of time. Now, I don't have time for today's video to really fully explain what leverage trend is, especially the impact of it on the bigger deductible levels, but this is something you should consider. If you haven't even touched that deductible in five, six, seven years, maybe looking at bumping it up 5% or 10%, something like that. Otherwise, that carrier is going to continue to charge you more and more for that deductible staying, uh, staying flat over that period of time. Strongly, strongly consider doing that. The next thing, I actually, I'll do this one first. This was the last one I was going to do, but since it's in order, I'll talk about this. I actually think this is the most important of the four that I was going to highlight. So what this is, is emerging gene therapy solutions, okay? So Tokyo Marine, again, has tracked this over the course, it looks like, back to 2018. It is now extending their projection out to 2024, looking at that impact. So they're tracking what, you know, how often these drugs actually get approved and what the FDA approval process turnaround time looks like. So you see this little dotted line that they're projecting forward in 2024. That is a reaction to what we know is in the pipeline. If you scan this little code right here, it's going to have a list of all the drugs that have recently been approved and the ones that are about to be approved that they think, as well as some price tags associated with it. So the folks that have been following Hemgenics, that was approved last year, I think in November. That's a hemophilia B uh, drug, has a three and a half million dollar price tag. This is why they're uh, projecting a tripling of the impact of gene therapy on their overall block of business by 2024. I'm shooting this in June of 2023, so that is just around the corner. Definitely want to make sure you keep track of gene therapy and have some measures in place to counteract that trend. And the last but not least, a little bit of homerism, captive growth. You, you obviously know that I work for uh, Pareto Health. We're the largest benefits captive in the country. Uh, we like to see this, but this isn't our data. This is Tokyo Marine's data. They are a partner of ours, though, and so we do make up a portion of their block. But you can see, and actually I want to draw on the TV this time. Excuse me. Let's use my fancy pen here. You can see, right, not only is the premium level going up, the number of cases they've had over that time going up as well, that is exponential growth. And we think that will continue, although they did have some leveling off of the number of lives in the last year from 2021 to 2022. I've actually got some feelers out to figure out what happened there. I have my suspicions. But there's no doubt that the premium and the growth of the number of cases they have over that period of time has gone up significantly. And again, we expect that to uh, significantly extend into the next few years into the future. So anyways, those are the four things that I want to draw your attention to in the Tokyo Marine uh, 2023 market report. Okay, it's great stuff in here. I highly encourage you to follow the link and you read it yourself. And I hope you enjoyed it. Be on the lookout for more of this type of content in the future for me. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys soon.